Your translations are now completed and have been reviewed. In this section, I'll show you how to convert the bilingual RTF and XLZ files back to the original source file format in target language only. To convert RTF files back to the original file format, use the Documents Back Convert function in the Microsoft Word plugin. Just drag and drop the files you want to back convert into the conversion window or click Add Files to browse to the files. You can change the default code page or character encoding based on your project requirements. Then click Convert and the translated file in its original file format will be created in the same folder as the bilingual RTF file. To convert XLZ files back to the original file format, use the Translation Workspace Batch Operations Back Convert tab in the XLIF editor. Again, just click Add to browse to and select the files to be back converted, set the default code page according to your project requirements, and then click Back Convert. The translated file in its original file format will be created in the same folder as the bilingual XLZ file. Let's take a look now at how to back convert both an RTF and an XLZ file. To back convert a bilingual RTF file into its original source file format in target language only, open it in the Microsoft Word plugin and go to the Translation Workspace ribbon. Select Current Document, Back Convert to back convert only the selected document, or Documents Back Convert to back convert multiple files at once. Log in using your unique username, password, and tenancy. Specify client configuration options, choose the TM that you want to work with, and select your source and target languages. In the document back conversion window, you can drag and drop the files into the window or click Add Files to navigate to them. You can set the default code page or encoding based on your project specifications and then click Convert. If you go back to the folder where the RTF file is located, you can now see that the original HTML file has a .back extension, and this is the source language HTML. The new HTML file is now converted into the original source file format and cleaned to target language only. Let's delete those files so we can show you how back conversion works in the XLIF editor. To back convert an XLIF file, open the XLIF editor and then go to Translation Workspace Batch Operations. You're prompted to log in using your username, password, and tenancy. Select the translation memory that you want to work with and specify source and target languages. In the Batch Operations window, go to the Back Convert tab and then drag and drop the files for back conversion into the Back Convert window or click on Add to navigate to the files. You can select Manual if you need to change the character encoding or default code page based on your project specifications, and then click Back Convert. If you go back to the folder where the XLZ file is, it's recreated the original source file format HTML in target language only.